My name is Krista Carone. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Xerox Corporation, headquartered in Norwalk, Connecticut in the United States. When I was a child, or probably in my early teens, I decided that I wanted to be an actress or a television newscaster and thought for sure that my future self would find me um, in front of a camera doing wonderful, glamorous things. And at the same time, I was doing a lot of writing, so I took some of that aspiration. Instead of being in front of the camera, being a television newscaster, um, being able to work behind the camera in media relations and public relations and help to influence the stories that were told to the world through the lens of television news or um, other television productions. So my career journey, I would say, took me on a couple of different paths, but it all was rooted in a foundational strength and a particular skill that I had and I, I feel quite fortunate that someone identified that for me early on and encouraged me to use that. As head of marketing for the corporation, I manage all of our global marketing activities like advertising and media relations and managing all of our brand engagement around the world and some of the fun things like social marketing and even the Xerox Foundation, which is the philanthropic arm of Xerox Corporation. For people who are interested in becoming a head of marketing, there's a few skills that you need to have or you need to feel passionate about, writing, data analytics, and the third is this ability to multitask, which is something that we all tend to do really well, um, but in marketing you tend to have a lot of different priorities thrown your way and you need to have a really good sense of how you can pick those that are going to be most impactful for your company. I've been very fortunate to come into a company that has helped me nurture my career and has offered me um, a number of opportunities to grow. The company is known for having one of the first female CEOs, Anne Mulcahy, and when she retired from the company, she handed the CEO reins to Ursula Burns. So it was the first female-to-female -female transfer of power in um, the United States, and it was also the first time that an African-American woman became a CEO of a global enterprise. And both of these CEOs are also working moms and have raised amazing children and have shown the rest of us how we can be just as impactful as successful businesswomen as we are successful mothers. So my future self is raising a healthy and safe and happy family and I've been able to do that through a rewarding and productive career. So my guidance to any young woman is always to find that corporation that will let you be true to yourself um, will let you find that inner balance that you're seeking and will let you soar so that you can um, fulfill the dreams of your future self as well.